Hello guys, it's Bo want to do Jim and welcome to a I think I like to call this a news video. I just went on the internet to see what uh, kind of news is there recently about WWE. Uh, and uh, later on in this video, I will be talking about TNA Impact Wrestling's uh, Hall of Fame ceremony for Jeff Jarrett. But besides that, let's get on to the news. Backstage news on Brock Lesnar working WWE live events. As noted, WWE is advertising Brock Lesnar for an uh, for an uh, up 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 and coming. Fuck, I can't fucking up on my reading. Upcoming live event at Madison Square Garden in New York City on October third, according to F4W Online. Go check out their website to see about that. Get yeah, see if there's any more details. Go check that out there. Anyways, Brock Lesnar New Deal with WWE saw an increase in pay. That's motherfuckers lucky. But it also saw an increase in amount of matches Lesnar wrestles as well as live event appearances. Well, yep, yeah, Brock Lesnar will be in Madison Square Garden on October 3rd. Y'all motherfuckers better get ready for that. Let's see. We got China replacing Hogan on UK show. Now, I'm, uh, here's the thing. I want to talk about this real quick. We got a, a former diva women wrestler that kicked ass, kicked ass in the Attitude Era, was the became the first woman to ever hold the Intercontinental Championship, right? And all because she did porn. Uh, Triple H. Ugh, I don't want China in WWE. Uh, I don't want the little kids, the little Triple H's, to go on the internet and search up China and and a porn video will show up. Well, it's that versus racial Hogan. So. Who would you choose? Let me know in the comments below. Would you choose a porn star could lead a bad image for kids, or a worse, or, or a racial person that's in a bad situation? I don't. I don't. Honestly, I don't have a problem with Hogan using the N word. I mean, he's not the first, and he's probably not going to be the last. I mean, look at Donald Trump uh, talking crap about Mexicans. Mexicans are my homies, bro. Fuck. Alright. Anyway, uh, China replacing Hogan on the UK. Sure. Um, the UK Mirror is reporting that China is in advanced talks to appear on Celebrity Big Brother in the UK. The producers of the show originally wanted Hulk Hogan, but. Oh. Okay. But following Hogan's recent controversy, the offer has been pulled. That okay. I thought it'd be WWE news, but it's just a fucking Big Brother in UK show. Never mind. But I still stand by what I just said, though. Um, let's see something about Daniel Bryan's book. Yeah, number one. It. Uh, what was it? Uh, right. Daniel Bryan tweeted the following regards to his new book. Yes, my am a provable journey to the main event of WrestleMania. Which is now on sale for $9.99. I'm joking. Okay, Daniel Bryan tweeted, hashtag yes book, by the way, is officially a New York Times bestseller. Hashtag yes, yes, yes. Okay. I think that's all the news. Is there anything else? Uh, nope. I see something. I see something about AAA announces ex ex exotics. I don't know. What else? All right, got that out of the way. I want to talk about fucking TNA's Impact Wrestling's freaking Hall of Fame ceremony. What in God's name was that? Heartfelt speech by Jeff Jarrett, but 
the way how they produce it, the way how they presented it, it looks so slacky, lame. Don't give a fuck about. I skipped half of the fucking Hall of Fame speech because I knew it'd be fucking long as hell. I mean, WWE Hall of Fame, they have this entire arena and they have their own stage, but like, has the carpet, everyone's dressed nice and shit. Like, oh god, TNA. And the make it worse, it's taped. WWE's live. WWE's all about that live. But it's not like WWE always takes the high road. They don't. They, they're not gonna do what Eric Bischoff did to them back in the day when WWE was a lot was taped. They would spoil, be like Jeff Jarrett make a huge announcement. Austin Aries will challenge Rockstar Spud. Uh, blah blah blah, like shit like that. Like, I'm surprised they're not even doing that at all. I don't think anyone like in the company is gonna do that. I feel like Vince is like, yeah, yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't spoil anything. We're better than them. We have more money than them. We have a better roster. Yeah. So, uh, all I have to say is, T Day, it's slacking. I mean, it's just, uh, when I watched it, I only the knock. Everybody was right. Only the knockouts is the best thing for TNA. And I've done research. The X Division is what brought TNA to where it is right now. Well, before. Like, before Hogan came. And Bischoff came. Like, 2009. Like, it was so good. I watched so many clips. So many matches. It was so good. And now, all of a sudden... Hogan Bischoff comes in, takes over, uh, like, then Dixie Carter went on this power trip, got rid of AJ Styles, Sting's gone, Samoa Joe left, so now not like a TNA, what do they have? The other thing I was excited was Mickey James, uh, 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 competing for the first time in two years, that's the last time I saw her compete. It's two years so and by the way that's Serena chick I haven't seen her since the straight that society in 2010 just say yeah she's that that chick Mickey James fought was that ball chick in 2010 WWE just saying if you don't know so yeah guys that's a little video right there uh, just a little t and one more thing I will not be uploading videos from Friday to Tuesday all uh, because of my annoying American freaking cousins from Brooklyn, New York, is coming over. So, hope you guys enjoy this little new slash teen impact Hall of Fame review video. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Monday Night Raw, the WWE 2K15 Universe World episode is on my channel right now. I uploaded it. I upload at 3 o'clock from now on. Uh, besides SmackDown, I upload that a little late. But besides that, I upload 3 o'clock almost every day. So I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.